This, we've got 90 minutes now and we're going to do a mix of working with recorders and then doing some science and uh, through this week we'll be looking at some observing of plants and so with the first quarter hour we'll sort of make working with recorders. How many of you have played a recorder before? Okay, let's do the other way around. Those who have uh, not played a recorder before. So there's quite a number who are going to be brand new on this. We're going to start together a bit and then I will work perhaps more with those who are new and I'll set those who have worked before to work together to play perhaps some rounds and so that you learn to you work together to play them and then you can play them in a round. So you have to play your part uh, separate from the others so and then you'll be come back and show us what you've managed we'll see if that works so let's we've got here a number of recorders soprano desk and recorder german what about the wire wire i don't know what that means recorder made in asia bag made in india i think we can just have a few moments of thought for the good people in Indonesia who made these probably at a very low salary because we buy them at an incredibly good rate. So just our thought for those part in the world who make things possible for us and not necessarily at a great advantage to themselves. Now, take it out and have a look, a recorder. So what do you see? It's like a Doric column. What? It's kind of like a Doric column. And like a Doric column. Okay, if you put it like that, and be careful about it because it might fall over. Yes. It's, it's nicely decorated. I have one that I've played for quite a long time and it has its own little case. Robin's recorder rucksack. Nicely, it was a gift. I didn't do it myself, but I, I still appreciate it. And actually, well, for me, I'll say a little bit later by looking at the different, uh, looking at this, that two things are the same, and some are very different. Mm -hmm. And so, and uh, then it reminds me of some of what Rudolf Steiner says, that often a good will exercise is to change a habit. And there's a, the interesting thing is about the fingering on this is different to the fingering on this. And so when I start playing this and I make some squeak, I say, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to change a habit of fingering. Anyway, but so, yes, anything else that what you observe? That's right, yes. In fact, you can turn them like this, so they can be right around, you can turn them. And you can pull them right off. What else? There's a mouthpiece, and I have that fourth grade urge to blow it. Yes. <laughs> and the first grade thing is it's a, now these things to sing happily, you need to keep them warm. Under here. Now it's warming up and it'll soon be able to sing well. Hmm? And it, do you see that under here it gets warm? And especially in winter, that's actually quite important because otherwise condensation of the breath soon makes it warble. And so it's actually keeping this part warm because this is where the condensation will be. So keep that under there. So it's not here. Yeah. But it also keeps it quiet, which is. The teacher's point, <laughs> the children, it helps that it's going to make it sing well. But we're still, we're adults, so we don't have to succumb to those temptations because we're just looking at it as a... So it's got a mouthpiece, a very fine little place there. You can see it fits in your mouth. Some recorders you'll find don't have this place here, that they have a just an end that you just have to rest against your mouth, but not this one. Yes? There's a place in here, yes. And when you look at that, you can see it's actually quite, sh quite a sharp edge in there, isn't there? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And this is where the recorder gives its sound. I must say, for when I was in class one, for my sins, which well, must have been something, um, <coughs> I decided I would make bamboo pipes for my children. I had 24 children in the class. And I realized it was actually quite a long task. First of all, I had to find the bamboo that was dry. Luckily, a neighbor across the road had a great stand of bamboo, and he had some dead pieces in there that were dry standing up. And that's quite something. So with a nice bit of negotiation, he gifted these to the school, and then I had to cut them. And then I had to cut it so that the between the nodes, so that there was just a nice opening place down there. And then the first thing, I had to make sure it was quite long, and then I had to put a piece of cork into the end and make a little groove here. So I had to get a chisel and make a little groove there, and then I had to make cut this thing into the bamboo. And that takes an amazing length of time. <laughs> 24 of them. Just luckily I had a summer holiday, <laughs> which took a fair bit of it. So that I got to the point that first of all I could get 24 of these things, that when I blow them, I could make a, make a tone. <coughs> Except there was no holes in it, so it sounded more like this. Now I've got these fingering spaces are different, so I have to really find them at home. And I had to make sure it was too long, so it would be a bit deeper. So that I would make 24 that all sounded the same. And you know what it goes next? You've got to cut the end off to raise the tone. But hang on. If I cut too much off, you have to throw it away. Not quite, because you, you can actually get around it. But you have to be pretty careful about getting them all to the right pitch. And then I discovered some things that I wasn't actually, didn't have a very good ear pitch to get the right note. So this was, this was a wonderful challenge before you start class one to realize that, that I was a bit tone deaf. And also that you blow something, and especially a wooden pipe, uh, as you more you blow it, it changes pitch. It goes, goes up a bit. So this was <laughs> quite an interesting, interesting process to go through. And then once I'd got 30, a few spare, these things all playing the same, then I had to dr drill a hole. And you have to think now, where are the fingers going to go? So the first thing you draw is a hole, this one. And you have to make it so that the there's a difference like this. Get all these at home. All the little birdies have to be sitting properly on their nest. So when I drilled a hole, this time I could get these. I don't know if you can try to imagine the process, you have to do 24 of those and get those right, and you have to get the hole the right size with a little a little round file just to make sure they're right. And so you've got 24 opportunities of making a mistake. I'm really being melancholic, aren't I? <laughs> and, and then there's another 24 opportunities to make a mistake for the next one. You learn to be quite careful. And you also <laughs> learn that if you went too far, that if you got the right kind of putty, you could actually just <laughs> fix the holes a bit. It was... Um, it was a, a wonderful experience of what it means to be a teacher as in this preparation. Um, yeah, and we played it for a year before we went to recorders, but um, not everyone has either the inclination, uh, the materials, the skills, or whatever it is to do it. But, so we can just be thankful that people have done this for us. So, Looking further, so we've got this place that there it makes the sound. What do we notice down here? 
the holes are in different sizes and are a bit asymmetric. They're not in a straight line. They're not in a straight line. No, not quite. How many holes are there? Ten. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well counted. And the bottom two work in pairs. And there's one at the back. Now, when we're playing a recorder, we need to, you know, one of the things you can say when you're getting the first thing is, hold your recorder in your left hand. Your left hand goes near to the lips. So that's, and just to get this thing, because it's not a matter of which hand, you have the left hand by the lips. And your right thumb is going to support it. So down there. So you have one, two, three fingers are going to go on the, from that hand and the thumb of the left hand, they're going to be the ones that used. And here, it's four fingers of the right hand that are used. Those, so those are the eight. And so these have been all made so that, you know, they have to make the size because really the first thing is you've got to put them where the fingers can go. Because you can actually have a big hole one place and a smaller hole a bit further down. So it's, uh, these are all part of the, the things that you don't have to worry about because somebody's already done it for you. But, um, and so you have to find, let's just put your fingers on there and see if you can feel with the tips of your fingers the, um, the holes underneath. See if you can feel. And each little birdie needs to sit properly on the nest so you can feel the whole can you just feel one at a time so you can feel those fingers touching and see can you can you actually feel the hole under your fingers move it so and and gradually you go work to get them going down it's harder on the smaller one it is now, now this is why it's so able to move because you now need to move the bottom one around to suit your little finger, which is short. So that's a matter of getting the last one. You turn it a little bit to make it fit so that your thumb, because it's got two holes to fill over. So it has to be, uh, it's quite important because it has to be able to shift from two to one to none. So, for instance, I'm just going to play, the, this can play can play many notes with which we use only some. So for instance, we do a scale of C, which is, this is a C recorder. I'm going to go down. I'll just show you and we won't go into the details. And this is where I have to remember my recorder has a finger when I go down here. And that's wrong on this one, I have to do. But you can see it simply, it starts with the second finger and the thumb, and then the first, the second added, the third added, the fourth added, the fifth added, the sixth added, the seventh added. That's how you, that's how the scale is built up. Yes, Melissa. If you know that you have <coughs> right handedness or left handedness, or one is more dexterous than the other, which one should go on the top? I think you should, because these are made, you see this who go in a slight circle? They're made for the left hand. And so even if you are a left-hander, still fit uh, there. I mean, I know maybe they make right left-handed guitars, do they? I mean, are they different? Do they string them the other way around? So on, but, and maybe they make these that go the other way around, but these are all for the left hand by the lips. Now, for instance, this can also have, you can see there's a lot of other notes in between as well that this is possible to make. No. And this one, one. So this, this is possible with this simple instrument to make lots of little notes, of which are scales, only use some of them.
but it enables us to use others. Now this is not the kind of spiel you're going to be giving to class one. You're adults, but... Um, so, where can we begin? Let's just try, and because when you're reading music, this, this note has a position... When you're reading music, I have telegraph wires, five of them, and this is noted by a little bird sitting on the middle one. And you see, if I was to take those things and squeeze them, you'd end up in the middle. When I squeeze this, I end up in the middle, and this is the note. When I read the music, that's what I'm playing here. So, that's what we'll do. But let's go back to the blowing. Because why is this instrument recommended in the school? Hmm? Your breathing? Yes, it's to do with controlling your breathing. And, you know, of course, also, it's a very portable instrument you know, compared with anything else. Uh, okay, there's a... <laughs> the other little instruments that can do as well, but this is a certain... You're learning dexterity and control. So that there's... And I know some, some teachers will get... They'll get a little candle out and they'll get everyone to blow. So blowing, so they don't blow the candle out and just... So let's just, we can just imagine you've got a little uh, thing. Just a gentle breath. Can you feel it on your fingers? Put this out here. this, so left hand by the lips, the thumb and the first finger, and rest it on your lips. Now a gentle breath. Good, good. You see, because you can go far too hard, can't you? It's not singing very beautifully. So you have to have a gentle breath. And later on we'll work that, so that some, sometimes you breathe and sometimes you start the breathing with a t, 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 t. And you can, by the, you can sort of see, that just makes a sharper beginning to the sounds, but t, t. Okay, now let's have a look at, just going down, just these ones, the first one. This is B-A-G. Well, that sounds funny, doesn't it? B-A-G. Because we only have seven letters that are used to represent the notes. And they go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Then it carries on, A, B, C, D. But here we're at C, C, B, A, G. Then it goes down F. E, D, C. <laughs> so they're, they're given names of the alphabet. Um, I don't know if there's other places that use numbers or not. I don't know quite. But um, Okay, so just on your lips, no, on your chin, just going this one, two, and three. Up, up. And feel it going down so you can feel it that your fingers are on there. And now we'll just go, we can play it. You can just, you need to watch what I'm doing, okay. That's our first tune. Okay, ready. Okay. 
So there's your first tune, and that's our first quarter hour. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's it's actually an instrument that people. It's a Renaissance instrument that people can play very beautifully. There's uh, some very skillful people with this simple little instrument, but it's also part of a family. There's another one that next was a little bit longer, and has a. Is it a fifth or a fourth down to F? And then a longer one, which is twice as deep as this, and a longer one a bass, so it's alto, it's a soprano, alto, tenor, bass. And then, just to be difficult, they make a little short one called a sopranino, and you've got to have fingers that are incredibly tight to fit onto it, and that uh, plays a half an octave higher up. Okay, now what I see, this doesn't have a a device for cleaning the recorder and you have to be quite careful how you lay this down because it can roll off so if you put it over this it's probably not going to roll off quite so easily now I know in my one I had one of these and I don't, there's not nothing supplied with these just for cleaning getting the moisture but for a wooden recorder it's it's quite important to to get yeah, and sometimes they just have with a little rod with a slit in it, you put a bit of cloth in it just to get the moisture out. Um, yes, yeah, so that would be good because particularly in cold weather, it does it does um, get the moisture out. But this with the plastic is not going to be affected with the wood. It does get affected. Crochet hook and a handkerchief. Hmm? Crochet hook and a handkerchief. Yes, that would also work, providing it's long enough here. So just line them up now, carefully put them away in their place, and put somewhere your initial or whatever it is on your one. So if it gets lost, it'll come home to you.